All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start my lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Aratiza from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another uh, video. All right, and uh, basically, I'm going to do this video uh, based upon this article that I uh, actually came across on social media. Somebody had took a screenshot of the uh, headline and posted it. And I decided to, you know, search it for myself from a website uh, called Express. The website is uh, express.co.uk. And um, you pretty much can read the title for yourself. You see the image, the image that they have posted there. You know, because basically, man, you know, we already know what the deal is with, with YouTube. All right. As soon as you say one one little word or you mention something, they're flagging and taking down your video. But meanwhile, you have these other uh, so-called YouTubers, people that have these platforms on YouTube. They can bring out the same exact article or the same exact information. And if their video stays up. You know, for days, weeks, months, years. But as soon as we bring it out and we, we bring out a, a <laughs> we bring out a Bible verse or two, they taking down they taking down your video or they taking down your channel. You know, so it's all bullshit. But you know, we all know what that's about. All right. We, we you know, we, we know that our videos are targeted. And essentially they just they just wanna put a a, a you know you know, they're trying to put a damper, if you will, on this truth, man. But essentially the word the word is already out. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you see the title, all right, in the um M O T B, all right, as you know, we call it the M O T B is one of the last major prophecies that's gonna come to pass in these last days. Then that's when the Lord is gonna return, all right. The Lord is not gonna return until the M O T B is implemented and is enforced on the people all right and that's pursuant to revelation chapter 13 verse 16 on down all right so this is one of the last of, of, the, of the major prophecies you know to come to pass and then you know as the apostles and elders and brothers have said that's when things are going to start moving quick all right as soon as this is implemented you know you might as well just like yeah just to quote brothers man as soon as this is implemented you might as well start looking up because any day now you know when that happens, that's when our Lord is gonna is gonna appear. All right. Now, um, I want to get a quick scripture, if I may. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go to. I think it's Isaiah twenty-seven. All right. This is uh the book of Isaiah chapter twenty-seven. In verse uh, 1, it says, In that day, the Lord, Yahweh, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent. All right? Now, when you, now you read this verse, you see where it says, uh, where the Lord is going to punish Leviathan. This, this Leviathan here is not speaking of the actual Leviathan that you read about in the book of Job. I think it's what, Job 41 or Job 40 or something like that. All right? Which is a which is a which is a uh, giant uh, sea creature. All right, that's not what this is speaking about. This is this is a metaphor for the so-called white man and his power structure, starting with the elites. All right, because the so-called white man is, is also known as a beast. So it says he's going he's going to punish. It says a strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent. Now the word, the reason why I'm bringing out this verse and how it correlates with the MOTB, because this is what the piercing serpent, man. And brothers had brothers had brought out a picture. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm walking on thin ice with this video. Then shit might get taken down. I right, fuck it. But brothers had <laughs> brothers had brought out a picture, um, where it was. Uh, I think it goes back to like the 1800s or the early 1900s, where um. There was, there was an ad that was basically um, going against the jab, and they had a picture of a snake with the with the uh, two fangs. All right, and the snake was 
looking like it was attacking a woman and her uh, her child. You know, and and written on you know it was it was like a, like an illustration or a drawing, and on the snake, it had it had the uh, you know the uh, V word man, you know if you catch my drift, let you know that what that's that that's that piercing man, so what is what is the so called white man or Esau Edom going going pierce you with? <laughs> All right, the eagle right there. This is what the 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 the. The the uh the spiritual Leviathan is gonna pierce you with and bite you with, man. All right, that M O T B. All right, let's let's continue on. It says, uh, in the strong short, a uh, sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon, that is in the sea. All right, and that's speaking about Esau. Esau Edom, which according to the scriptures is the uh, so-called white man. All right. So in, in that sword is speaking of those uh, thermonuclear missiles. That, all right. And that's how the so-called white man and his power structure is going to be brought down. And that's pursuant to Isaiah 34. Go over a couple chapters. Uh, Isaiah 34 and... Um, Hell, we start at one. Isaiah thirty four and one. It says, "Come, come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it, for the indignation of the Lord Yahweh, which the word indignation means righteous anger, is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them." To the slaughter. And that's what's getting ready to happen. All right. All the armies of this earth, the armies of these different nations, you know, all of them are going to be destroyed, man. In this in these coming times. Verse three, it says their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. All right, which we know the, the the mountains is symbolic for the governments, you know, the, the the power structures of this earth. They're all gonna be brought down by the way of violence. All right, verse four it says, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. All right, which that's talking about the mushroom cloud, which is the which is the effects of the, the thermonuclear missiles. Hitting this land, all right. You just type in a uh, nuclear missile bombing or whatever the, you know. You type it in, and you'll see the uh, mushroom cloud form. That's what it means when it says the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. All right, and, and this all goes back to what this is. At this is the aftermath, or this is afterwards when the uh, MOTB is implemented. This is not going to happen until Esau pushes that. All right. It says, and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. Verse five, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. All right. Going back to the sword we read about in Isaiah 27, the sword that's going to punish Leviathan. All right. What it said, that crooked serpent. He shall Punish the dragon that dwelleth in the sea. That sword is that thermonuclear missile. It says, for, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. All right. Who's Idumia? Idumia is Edom. Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. So this is a cut to uh, Elder Raka of the GOCC. Because that's also the, <laughs> you know, like like as brothers say, the flavor of the week. Which Lord willing, I'll, I'll do an, uh, I'll do a follow up video on that, because you got this guy Elder Ricardo GOCC saying that the Edomites can be saved, which is which is which is totally bugged out, man. All right, so it says, "Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment." All right, how the how the people of Idumia or the, or the Edomites, the people of the Lord's curse. 
because they've been stricken with leprosy. All right, which is a curse and it really is it's, it's a it's a sin. All right, and you read um what's that Numbers the twelfth chapter dealing with uh Moses, Aaron and um Miriam. All right, when Miriam came up against uh uh, uh Moses, okay, the uh, the Mosai he basically gave her leprosy and said she was white as snow. All right, so that's that's the that's the that's the people of the Lord's curse, man, the Edomites, because they got that leprosy. See that? It says verse six. It says the it says the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra, which Basra, if I'm not mistaken, was the uh the capital city in Edom. All right. It says in a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, meaning the Edomites, man. All right. So the Edomites that's here in America, no Edomites are going to make it out of America. All right. The only people that's going to make it out of America is the elected the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now you're going to have Edomites around the world that are not going to get destroyed. But they're only being preserved to be put in chains and put in put in hardcore bondage. All right. Not to get these little rinky dink job. No, they're going to be put in a hard bondage, man. Scripture say we're going to rule the nations with a with a rod of iron. See, but that's really a topic for another day going into the Edomites and their judgment. But really, I just want to hit on that dealing with the MOTB. All right. Because these prophecies with scriptures we just read. In Isaiah 34 and Isaiah 27, the MOTB has to come to pass first. All right. Um, let's go from there to. Uh, let's see. What, what scripture is that? Is that Acts? Let's see. Let's go to Acts 20. Uh, I think it's Acts 20. Uh Right. Acts 20 and. Let's see. Let's start at 26. Uh, this is wherefore I take you record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the most high. All right. So the reason why I'm bringing this out is that we had Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders. We 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 give you the whole the whole thing. We give you the whole story. We're not keeping nothing back like certain camps, certain Israelite groups do. All right, where they don't teach on the um, MOTB, or they say it's something else, which is going to cause their congregation to stumble. All right, when the so-called white man, all right, rolls this out. <laughs> All right, as you see it right there, it says what? There's no stopping it, man. It's coming. But you got certain Israelite groups that are that are holding back or they're shunning, all right, to to bring it all out, man. All right? It says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the most high, which is which is why I, I our um uh hands are clean, so to speak, as the scripture says. In Ezekiel the thirty third chapter, that if uh, the Lord set a watchman upon the wall, and he warned the people, his blood shall, or his hand shall be clean from this people. Roughly paraphrasing, so our, our hands are clean because we do these videos, we we go into the prophecies, we showing you what's coming. So when it comes, you know the people don't have no excuse because why they've been warned. All right, verse twenty eight it says, "Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all." The flock over which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood, which is why we're established and set up through the spirit is to feed the flock. All right. Yahweh Shah said, what? If you love me, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. So that's why we do these videos. That's why we, we, we go into the articles. We, you know, we motivate, we exhort and do these different things and we prophesy what? To feed the sheep, 
because the Lord have made us made us overseers. All right, beginning with the apostles and the elders, man. You know. And you know it pretty much goes on, but I just want to bring that out real quick. All right, I didn't have to go into Revelation thirteen. That's already self explanatory. But this is showing you that man prophecy is speaking. All right, and and the watchmen of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai have been set up and established to warn you of these things to come, man. All right, so you know that's that's pretty much it, man. All right, giving our praise on the glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Racha Kodash, and the Lord willing to the next. Uh, video, we say Shalom.